going to show you how to uh, post in the class notebook, um, which we're going to be using some days in English language arts, and you may use in different subjects. So you'll see that, um, you know, on, on this, I logged in as Dariana because she moved away, but we still have her account, and I thought that way I could use this um, as a good example one because um, yours should look pretty similar to hers, okay? She probably has less classes than you do because she wasn't a student at our school last year, so she doesn't have any classes left over from third grade, which many of you do, um, but you'll see that she has, you know, music. Um, this one, I believe, is technology for Mr. Chumley, PE, math, homeroom, and then English language arts, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and click on English language arts because that is where I want to show you the class notebook. Um, you'll see this is the page where I will post assignments and things throughout the days. Um, this was today's assignment. Um, it got posted. And if you notice, you might have to click see more so you can see the whole thing. And then um, that gave some directions. And then the post below it actually um, gave questions that you needed to click on and answer. So hopefully you did those. But if you look up here at the top, there's this one that says class notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and let it load. The first time you log into it, it's probably going to take a moment to load. Oh, it didn't take too long here. Okay, so this is just a basic welcome screen. You don't need to worry too much about that, but you can read through it and see kind of what it has to say about class notebooks. Look over here at this arrow. I want you to go ahead and click that arrow, and then that opens up several files. Um, the content library, collaboration space, those are things that I can load documents into. If I ever do, I will let you know. But the place that I want you to look at is where it has your name. In this case, it's got Dariana's name because this is her account. You are the only one that sees what you post in your name. Um, when I log in, I see everybody's file and I can click on it and see what you have put in it, but you only see what you put in it. So if you click on your name, then it brings up different folders or different tabs here. Um, this what we are going to worry about here is just the one that says class notes because that's where I might say write in your notebook something or another okay I always want you to title it see where it's flashing I always want you to put today's the date for it so for instance um, I mean I'm doing this you can see up here on my computer it's Tuesday night but I'm actually going to do it like it's Wednesday because I'm going to give you an assignment for tomorrow to do on here. So I always want you to start it by putting the date. So like I'll put April 1st, 2020. Okay. And then you click below it. You can go ahead and write your answer. Okay. Um, for today's assignment that I'm going to ask you to do is to re or write the ending of the story um, about Hera and give her a, a different ending than what it said in the Hercules quest story, okay? So then below you might, you know, write your story, whatever it is, okay? Um, so like, this is where you can write your response to whatever it is for that day, okay? If you click that arrow, it takes it back out. When you want to do another assignment, like maybe I might give you an assignment tomorrow, you go down here where it says add a page, click add a page, and then put that date. So if I give you an assignment for April 2nd, then you'll label it April 2nd, 2020, okay? Then when I go through it, I'm looking at these to, to grade them or to just read them or whatever, I'll be able to find your assignment based on the day that you did it, okay? And you can always click below and then this is, ooh, yeah, yeah. this is where you can write, okay? Um, if you have any questions about uh, adding to your class notebook, go ahead and send me a message and let me know. Message me on Dojo, send me an email. Um, I think there might be a way to actually contact me through Microsoft Teams. I'm still working on figuring that out. If I do, I will let you know. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this video here.